Hi everybody, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com and today I'll be doing a review for Best Buy's blog on three different types of electric kick scooters. We're going to be looking at the Segway 9Bot Max, the Gyrocopter Flash 3.0 and the Unagi Model 1. So without further ado, sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready folks and cue the intro. So let's begin with the Ninebot Max from Segway. This is a premium built electric kick scooter. I would call it like the Cadillac of kick scooters. It's got a premium build in terms of the material. You can tell that this thing has uh, quality engineering around it. And Segway, of course, is a notable company that has a long history in making mobility products. The Segway 9Bot Max is really built as a commuter vehicle. It has a 350 watt motor, large 10 inch shock absorption tires, and this together ensures that you get a long, smooth ride on various surfaces. So it doesn't matter if it's gravel, it doesn't matter if it's grass, or even a sidewalk, you're going to have a good riding experience with this kick scooter. There's also a large standing area and that makes it super comfortable to ride for long periods of time. And trust me, when I say long periods of time, you could theoretically be on the scooter nonstop for about two hours straight. So you want to make sure that you have a nice uh, area to rest your feet and also enough room to kind of uh, adjust your feet as you're riding. The Gyrocopter Flash 3.0 is very similar in terms of its design to the Segway 9Bot Max, but it's more of a mid-range, so it doesn't have the same kind of quality materials and build and technology underneath it. However, it does have a large standing area, not as large as the 9Bot Max, but large enough for traveling long distances. It also has a 350 watt motor, just slightly smaller 8.5 inch rubber tires. Now, like the 9Bot Max, these are tubeless tires, which means they're burst proof. And that is really good because you can, like the 9Bot Max, drive this on various surfaces. So you could be on the road, bike lanes, it could be gravel, um, even grass for that matter. You're just gonna be able to, to ride. What I like about both the, the 9Bot Max and the Flash 3.0 is the fact that they do absorb shock quite well. So when you're driving and you're hitting bumps here and there, they actually do a good job of absorbing that shock. Now let's talk about the Unagi Model 1. Now this is the most compact design of the three. It supports two dual 250 watt motors and 7.5 inch solid rubber tire tires. So the tires are a little bit smaller than the other two, but man, does this have a nice compact form factor and design. However, that said, one thing about the scooter that I've known is that it doesn't really absorb shock. So if you are driving this on rough terrain, could be sidewalks with cracks in them, trust me, you're going to feel it. It's actually a little bit uncomfortable. So it's primarily, um, based for, for nice roads, smooth roads, uh, as opposed to ones that are really rocky. I wouldn't really want to drive this on gravel and any kind of rough terrain, just because it, it's not gonna be the smoothest riding experience. So which scooter should you get? Well, if you're gonna go long distances, if you really are trying to replace a vehicle, I think you should probably go with the Segway 9Bot Max um, as a commuter. The thing is, you're gonna to wanna to get that optional lock and that lock will go right onto the handlebar. And the great thing about that is, even though it does weigh a lot, if you get that lock, you can just lock it up to something um, when you're at your destination. So it could be like a bike lock or say you just go to the grocery store, you could lock it up quickly to pick up some groceries. The Gyrocopter Flash 3.0, that's kind of like your middle everyday man type of scooter. It doesn't cost that much. When, when you think about what you pay and what you get, tremendous value in this um, scooter. I just wish it was just, if it could just make it go a little bit faster, if you could make it go 30 kilometers, man, I, I would be completely sold on it, especially when you look at the price point. Such great value. The Inagi Model 1, that's really for somebody who really appreciates that technology, the design. It is an amazingly built machine. It goes fast and it's lightweight. 
Personally, I think this will appeal to females who want a kick scooter just because of the lightweight and that compact design. I think they would really appreciate that. And plus, they're going to be able to carry that uh, upstairs or inside a house without any kind of issues. But it is a premium um, e-scooter, so you're going to have to pay a little bit more for that. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this comparison of these three kick e-scooters. If you like this review, please smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to this channel and leave your comments below. Let me know which one you like and why. Once again, my name is Andy Barrar. Handy Andy, if you want more information about your boy, hit me up on my website. I also got a YouTube channel. I do a lot of DIY how-to content, so you want to subscribe to that as well. Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time.